Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. As you can probably tell, I'm not in Bristol. I am in currently very sunny and very beautiful Chamonix for day one of Trails and Roots. It is 6.45 in the morning, 5.45 British time. I'm feeling a little bit sleepy, but we are getting up nice and early because today we're gonna to be doing a very hilly, very spicy start to the week, which is like a, gonna be a 10 mile run, weather permitting, which it looks like it will, up one of the mountains up there. So Trails and Roots is a trail running camp. It was modeled on a multi-day ultramarathon, just minus the ultramarathon part. So you get all the sense of camaraderie, you get to meet like-minded people, you get to go on amazing trails every day, you get to explore on foot, which is one of the amazing things about trail running, but without absolutely beasting your body basically. I imagine it's still gonna be pretty difficult for my body, um, especially with my severe lack of hill training. Even though I have tried, I haven't been able to get out of Bristol very much other than down to Cornwall the other day. So it will be interesting and a bit of a shock to the system, I imagine, today. But I'm super excited for this week because it's not every day you get to run in a place like this or have a background like this to my YouTube videos. So I'm very excited to get out. But first of all, I'm gonna go and eat some breakfast. We have an amazing chef here called Liz who is um, cooking for us all week and the food so far has just been incredible. I've done zero running and a lot of eating so far, which is fine with me. I'll show you what's up there. So what is it? Tell so, us. Chef. Oh my gosh, Lily. so exciting. So we've got granola, um, chocolate chia pudding, some oat porridge, the scones this morning are date and orange, the muffins are banana and blueberry, we've also got tofu scramble, roast tomatoes, hash browns, some sausages, fruit salads, and then just some sides, so yogurt, some uh, homemade jams, ketchup, mustard. A gift sent from God you are. Yes. <laughs> everything everything <laughs> made from scratch. Thank you, thank you, thank you. RPE, RPE, all it means is like, how hard does it feel? So today, and not just today, but all the time when you run, just check in with yourself. Like, what's my RPE? And is it appropriate for the goal of the run or the workout? So we are on the trails, done not super far so far, but we've just been going uphill and now we've got a little bit of a downhill shuffle, which is super nice. Um, we are expecting rain today, but so far so good. And we've been able to um, avoid the rain and the sun was out this morning and there is some blue sky, so fingers crossed. Also, don't ask me why every one of my vlogs has to start with a weather report. <laughs> I'm British, what do you expect? Hello! <laughs> How do you feel today? I feel great! Yeah? It's a nice Beautiful to be out on it. Yeah, well, yeah, so Wonderful. far. So far, so good. Wonderful company. <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> um, Seems like you know everything about every tree and animal. <laughs> well, yeah. I, uh, I don't know, I just love nature. What do you think this gradient is? Steep. 35%. We are currently hiking up a very steep hill. Um, good practice for using poles. It's not too technical. A little bit rocky underfoot. And uh, it's a lot harder to use poles when I'm also trying to vlog. Pace as well, 732, that's kilometers. Okay, 
so we've got to this bit where we were gonna go up to the coal up behind me um, but the weather is coming in I'm really sad I didn't manage to film any of the thunder but I'm sure I'll get it on camera at some point because it is endless um, and it suddenly got very cold from like being super warm and very windy um, so yeah we were heading up that way but um, it's not safe so we're gonna wander on back down get in some technical downhill running um, just heading back the safe way because obviously you don't want to be on top of a mountain if there is thunder and lightning for obvious reasons so safety first still only day one and to be honest like my body's still adjusting to the altitude even though it's not even that high here my heart rate has been maybe like five to ten bpms above what it would usually be for the intensity of the uh, hiking that we've been doing so far so i'm very happy um just to be calling it a day early today and staying safe down at well not quite sea level a thousand meters but um i'll take it <laughs> Coros. <laughs> no, but seriously. So, I like to think about it like this: if I can take two steps, I'll take three, and uh, that way, you are you're increasing your cadence. Uh, smaller steps means if anything happens, like a fall or something, it's going to be much less severe than if you're taking longer steps and landing with more impact. Um, and just uh, stay conscious of the trail. It's good to look ahead. Then look at your feet, look ahead, look at your feet. You're, it's like you have your trail radar going the whole time. done any technical trails literally not since UTS in May and uh, <laughs> my little quads are like help but it's good fun keeps the brain occupied for sure and um, good practice for later this year when I'll have plenty little donkeys they're so cute isn't this beautiful Whew. hey buddy hey. how's it going Hi there. oh my god those ears they're so long. Oh, so cute. day done it was less of a run more of a intro to trails hike and a bit of an explore which was lovely actually like it's been so long since I've been on trails like this well a year exactly um, so it was actually really good to kind of like ease back into it but it was really nice nice and chatty and um, Zandi who is one of the coaches um, helped out like giving loads of advice on pretty much everything from like technique running down hills to how to use your poles to I mean like pacing yourself on the trails just absolutely everything which is really good and nice to re-remind myself I guess reminding is re 
nice to remind myself. I definitely felt like my heart rate was higher than usual, um, probably partly because of the altitude, partly because I came into this pretty tired already. Um, so I'm gonna have a nice early night tonight and probably a nap this afternoon. And when we get back to the chalet, we have lunch waiting for us and it is all just delicious like i've eaten so much food and done so little actual running this week i'm gonna come back i'm gonna have to be rolled home um but i am not complaining about that it's very very good so i'm gonna take you through like what we're doing for the rest of the day as well because it's gonna be fun like there's only one run a day which means that for the rest of the day we have other things like learning about different trail shoes or uh, nutrition strategies or racing strategies or like whatever just absolutely everything to do with running so it's really educational as well as being like good for you physically you know you're not just training you're also there's also plenty of rest plenty of food and plenty of education too so i'm very excited for it oh. what we got wow. okay so lots of salads we just got some greens here just leaves and cucumber this is a chickpea cauliflower salad in a roast garlic aioli this is a chickpea mayo salad a uh, big hit at the madeira camp not to like pressure anyone yeah. into trying it very very good um, and then we've got a roast potato in a chili sunflower cream dressing over here then are little bits and uh, we've got some red lentil fritters some uh seitan slices and we've got a pumpkin seed and roast carrot pate hummus mayonnaise mustard breads work this afternoon because we got back quite early from our run um, so I had a bit of extra time so after tucking into a very delicious lunch I went and had a nice nap and then worked on an article that I'm writing for Trail Runner Mag which fingers crossed they're gonna like I don't know um, it's a little bit like a lot of anecdotal evidence not so much science but we'll see how that goes um, and now some people from Hoka have come along and uh, they've got all of like loads of different trail shoes so that people can kind of try things on and like figure out what works for them um, without the commitment of obviously like buying it spending all that money, getting it delivered to your house and finding that they're too narrow for your feet or whatever, which is always my issue with running shoes is that I have pretty wide feet. And um, actually this is a problem since lockdown. I spent a lot of lockdown in barefoot shoes or literally just barefoot and my feet change shape because when you don't constrain your feet to shoes, they do change shape and they get wider. And now I have wide feet, which is a problem with most shoes because uh, the toe box is pretty narrow and hokers are getting narrower, I think. But um, in some of them, at least some of them, they've got like a wide option and a narrow option. So um, it'll be interesting to try some on. I currently already wear the Hoka Mafate Speed 4, which I love, absolutely obsessed with them, especially for the trails around here. They're just perfect, but it's really cool that they're here and I will go and check them out now. Okay, so the guys have just been speaking through the shoes and I thought I'd pass on the information for anyone who is interested in shoes. These are called the Zinal 2. These are like the men's versions and the women's version, the same thing. And they're for like, they're like aggressive shoes for rocky terrain, um, like 20 to 40 kilometers. Um, they're a lot lighter than a lot of the other Hoka shoes and not very Hoka, what do you call this? Like stack height, it's obviously a lot lower than most of the Hoka shoes. You can like feel the rocks underneath and stuff. I feel like they're trying to copy like maybe ultras or maybe not that much, maybe like um, Merrells or something like that. And then you come along to these. Um, these are the Speedgoat, yeah. uh, Speedgoat 5. I've heard a lot about these shoes, but never actually tried them myself. And then these are the ones that I have, not in that size. These are the Hoka Mafate Speed 4. And um, these ones are like a more stable version of the Speed Goats, um, which means, and they're also like more durable. So if you're doing lots of training miles, you might want to be wearing, wearing these because they're more likely to last longer, but they're good on like rocky alpine trails. And then these ones have the same lugs, but they are a little bit lighter, a little bit narrower, which I find, like I can't actually fit into these, but they do come in a wider version, but they're less stable, a little bit faster and a little bit lighter. So there you go, those are the difference. They don't have all of their shoes here, obviously, um, but in terms of trail stuff, this is what you got. Can you tell us what dinner is? Oh my God, I'd be delighted. <laughs> so we have a Caribbean inspired jackfruit curry tonight. So it's a really nice spiced mix of coriander and fenugreek and fennel and the sauce is carrot based and then we've got some beautiful roast aubergines and courgettes in here as well as some jackfruit and then I'm just topping it off with some charred broccoli, uh, pumpkin seeds and buckwheat Amazing. and a little bit of uh, parsley. Thank you! Strawberry and mint 
like tiramisu sort of. Yeah, I'm calling it a tiramisu. It's just like there's a sponge and strawberry um, coulis and a sunflower seed cream, mm -hmm. as you'll discover over the course of the week. Sunflower seeds are my favorite ingredient. They're so versatile, so yeah, they're magic. Wow. Um, yeah, enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. end of day one of Trails and Roots. We have done today we had breakfast, then we did a cool run plus lots of education on the trails, then we came back and we had lunch and then after lunch I had a nap and then I did some work and then we had a hoka shoe workshop and then we had education on nutrition, pre, post, during run, all that kind of stuff from the in-house coach Zandi and then uh, we had dinner and it was delicious and now I'm gonna go to bed because I'm so sleepy. It's literally like quarter past nine but we are up really early tomorrow morning so definitely time for some sleep and my whoop just reminded me that I had a strenuous day today so I have to get some sleep. This is the view currently. The sun is, well I think it's already set. I'm gonna go to bed now. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Let me know about your thoughts about the uh, camp. If you've ever done a running camp before definitely let me know because I used to think that it was like just for elites and then some other people thought that it was just for people who have never done trails before and this is like the perfect mix of both like it's somewhere in between the two. So yeah let me know in the comments because I did not realize that this was a thing up until recently so very cool. That is it for this week's vlog. If you did enjoy it, please do give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. I will be back with you with another vlog, hopefully from here in Chamonix, because we're doing some amazing other routes, including one from the UTMB course um, later on this week. And hopefully we will get some more beautiful weather and I can share that all with you guys. So I will see you next time. Thanks again for watching. Bye.